What's going on everybody? My name is Carmine and this is Bar Mind Tech and today we're going to work on what I think should be the first project in everybody's home lab. So today we're going to work on installing Docker with Portainer on your first Linux VM. So let's go work on it. Use my friend Nova Spirit's Pi self-hosted uh, GitHub to actually get Portainer and Docker set up. So we're going to install Portainer and Docker on our new machine that we started last week. If you remember this was that Ubuntu machine that we started. And we're going to put Docker and Portainer on it, and he has a script that makes it so much easier. So we're going to start off, we're going to go and SSH into that machine that we started the other day. So for me, my IP was 192.168.50.60, and it is. So this is just Putty giving me that warning again, so we're always going to see that the first time we SSH into a machine. I'm going to log in. I already ran the sudo app update and upgrade last week, so we're just going to get straight into installing Docker and Portainer. So again, like I said, this is Nova Spirit's GitHub for Pi self-hosted. I'm going to put a link down in the description below, but he has a great write-up on how to install Docker and Portainer and all great apps to use with it. So we're going to come over here, and then down here is the installation. So we're going to come grab this first link, and we're going to copy it. And we're going to we'll make this window a little bit bigger. I'm going to right click in the terminal, so paste it, click enter, and now it's going to ask for my password. And it's installing what we need off that link. So we'll give that a second. Well, that works. We're going to come over here and we're going to come back. So this template was originally designed to run on Raspberry Pis. It has been adapted to run on AMD64, which is what you're going to be running on your main PCs. But since we're not using Raspberry Pis, we could skip this section of the uh, the, the write-up. So this was designed for Raspberry Pi OSs. So we can skip this command and this command. So after this link finishes is taking place, now see it's telling us in the script to remember to log off and reboot. So we're going to give this a quick reboot, and the machine is going to reboot real quick. So we'll give that a minute to come back up, I'm going to open putty in the meantime. Uh, 60 I think it was, we'll give it a second, I'm going to come over to the, to the Proxmox and just check what's going on. So now we can see the machine's back up, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to putty in. We're back in, and now that we did that, it's time to run the next command off the write-up. So after we do that, now it's time. So Docker's now installed, but now we need to actually install Portainer. So we're going to copy this next command, and it's going to copy all this text. Once again, I'm going to come into the terminal. I'm going to right-click, and I'm just going to run the commands. Give it my password, and you can see now it's installing Portainer. So we'll give that another second. And once this, that, that's done, we're going to go into Portainer and set that up. So now it's all done. So now if we come to the next step of the write-up, it's going to tell you to log into Portainer and put in their app template. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go to HTTP, it's just HTTP colon slash slash the IP address of the machine that we were just working on, which is 60. And we're going to use colon three, uh, 9000 to access the Portainer uh, web portal. So now this is the first time that we logged in, so it's going to ask us to make some credentials. I'm going to use Carmine. I'm going to give it a password. I do need to give it a pretty long password. Let's see. So I'm going to give it a nice long password. Uh, if you already worked with Portainer, you can make a backup. And you could re, uh, reinstall your Portainer from the backup, so it will copy over some of your images and stuff like that. But we don't have one right now, so we're just going to start from scratch. So I'm going to create the user, and we're going to go from there. I'm going to save it because I can never remember my passwords. We're going to click Get Started because we don't already have an environment running. So now this is our local environment for Portainer. This is where we're going to be adding in our app template, and we're going to be running all of our Docker containers out of. So Portainer is just another app 
app. I'll show you right here. So we come over, Portainer is actually a container that's running off of Docker. So Portainer is what's given us this nice graphical interface to work with Docker. And we can come over here and let's see, we'll go to settings. And you see right here in settings, it gives us app templates. So we're going to come back over to Pi Hosted off of Nova Spirit. And if you're using different boards, you can grab a different board. But I'm using an AMD 64, so I'm going to copy the AMD 64 template. I'm going to come back over to Portainer. I'm going to change the link. We're going to change the settings. So now if I come over back to app templates, these are all different templates based off of his template that he made up. So these are all different containers that were designed to work with AMD 64 boards. And like I said, they have ARM32, ARM64, so they also have templates made specifically for ARM boards. So if you're running an a ARM board or a Raspberry Pi, you can follow this tutorial too and just make sure you use the ARM template and it'll work right out of there. But I'm using AMD64, so that's what I'm going to use. So now that we have Docker and Portainer installed, it just opens a world of possibilities of other projects that we could add by using Docker to our server. So it's going to use very minimal resources and it's going to make it work so the simple hardware that we gave our VM will be able to run. So we're going to keep working on this project, we're going to keep adding to it. So make sure you subscribe and come back so you can keep seeing what we're going to add on to this project. I'll see you next time.